All right, friends. So this is lock. So this is something rather different. This is a puzzle game. Uh, let me get my other window. Not that window. Um, apologies. The uh, sound will pause while I'm in a different tab here. So let me put on some links to this one. So this is um, lock. It's a digital version of a, um, a physical puzzle book. Um, so it's a digital implementation of, um, of the same ideas. So the, uh, the company name is Letterbus. I'm going to put a link in chat to, first of all, the itch.io page for Letterbus, um, well, for Lock on Letterbus. So you can have a look at it there. So that's where you could um, get hold of a digital version of the book or um, there are links to the, the physical versions as well and uh, the creator does have other um, other uh, puzzle games available as well which is really interesting to look at and then this uh, this demo is available on Steam that's where I've found it so let me pop a link into this one there you go so that should appear in chat as well there for you yeah, that should, should have populated through. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so this this is an intriguing thing. Um, it's basically a um, like a Sudoku kind of puzzle. It's about filling in blocks um, to to complete a, a pattern. Um, but this comes um, very nicely uh, graphically designed and very cleverly uh, designed in, in puzzle terms. Uh, Sorry, I lost my thread there. Very cleverly designed in uh, puzzle terms because um, you are asked to work out what the rules are as you go along. You're given some uh, founding principles um, of of how this universe works, um, and then you've got to try and work out the rest yourself. Um, so I do want to let's get the um, let's get the credits up here. Um, let's, Screen might judge a little bit as I move it around. Here we go. Um, so, yes, have a look at the credits. So, design, art, music, and SFX. Um, I'm probably going to mispronounce their name, unfortunately, but by uh, Blaj Urban Grakar, maybe Grassar, um, who's a Slovenian um, artist. Um, I guess um, more than just an artist, a designer, a, um, a musician, um, all sorts of things. A very talented person by all, by all accounts. Um, and yeah, so um, programming and publishing by Ferran Ruiz Salah, Rain Drinker, additional programming by Arsene Dremin. Um, so I found this to be a, um, a really smooth experience. So not is it only um, very well designed, but um, everything that happens is, is incredibly smooth as well. It looks like it's been really well implemented. Um, so this is, uh, you can see I already had a go here, which has asked me to continue. Um, so I did have a go and and try it out just to see whether it's something I could actually play or not because I wasn't uh, convinced of my uh, my skills of inductive um, reasoning um, which definitely makes me think of um, the game Portal which I finished recently so anytime I think about hands I think about dolphins and Portal and whenever I think of inductive reasoning I think of Portal so it's, it's left its mark but I've chosen an empty slot here, so we can start from scratch, which should be lovely. Let's give that a go, and then we can show you um, exactly what's going on here. Lock are a fresh new kind of living beings that spawned in the middle of a vast, incomprehensible world. Help them understand their surroundings and guide them toward expansion of their civilization. Look, it's a whole like a little, it's a little world map, and little little characters, little wormy characters. I'm just gonna sort my screen out a bit here, um, so that I can see chat. There we go, that's better. 
Okay, and then we'll go to the first the first area. So fire. Yeah, so kind of like a little I mean it's very it's beautifully um designed graphically. Um very very charming. Um very clear, um very graphic, very charming. And um there's a nice like a uh, little little sense of narrative to accompany what we're doing. I don't know that the two um is that the puzzle solving is, is quite abstract, but it's kind of nice that it's got this little this little hook of narrative on it. So I think what we need to do here is click on number one and get our first our first puzzle, which is um, the first ones um, do sort of. I think well actually progressively the game uh, builds itself up, so it's kind of all a tutorial in a way. Anyway, so learn the first keyword lock. It makes you black out an additional cell. So what I'm going to do is, because my memory is, is not great, I am going to be writing down these rules. Um, so hang on, I'm going to put down a fundamental rule: is you need to block out all cells, right? Or squares. You need to block out all squares. Block out all squares. There we go. And then lock is one of our magic magic keywords, and that. Um, Black out uh, additional cell. There we go. So I will remember that. All right. Well, let's make lock. So we click, 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 lock. A little lock appears, and then we get to choose one to um, black out with our little blob, little blob of lockness. So you must always black out all cells in the grid. Oh, that's well, I preempted by writing that down. Um, that is um, that is fundamental, I think, to uh, to understanding how this game works. Um, yes, yeah, so I think this is pretty straightforward. So we can go backwards. We can go L O K that way. Um, we can go block out that one. We can go L O K, and we can colour in that one. And we did it. You can click and drag to select cells. So we can do the whole run. So we can do that, and it works backwards as well. So we can do call. Um, and then, have we? Is this was this the bad way? Is this the bad way? This might be the bad way. Okay, let's undo it by uh, doing right click, which is indicated here. Okay, let's do this one instead. Oh yeah, this will work. So if we do that and then black up that one, and then we do this call here, we black up that one. We've done it. Okay, and then they get a little bit more challenging. So. You do have to start inferring um, elements of gameplay as you go along. So here we've got lots of spaces between letters, which looks like it's going to be uh, quite a challenge. Um, so I, th so I'm going to go lock there and black out that one, and then let's see if we can do lock here. We can, yes. Yeah, so if it's already blacked out. It um, counts as a bridge between spaces, so we block that out. So if we do that one, then surely that means that we can go vertically down here, make that lock, and then get the last square there. Brilliant. All right, so then there's going to be a way to do this long line of things. So we do this lock here, and then do that K. So then we can go across from L O K there. And then we can black out that one. Oh, we've unlocked something. That's cool. Um, so you might have noticed on the um, the map where the locks were sitting around the fire, there were some locked puzzles as well as numbered ones. Um, I'm not quite sure what you have to do to um, qualify to unlock something. I don't know if you find, perhaps if you find the least obvious solution to something. Possibly. Um, okay, so, uh, and uh, by the way, I, I have played these before, but as I mentioned, my memory is poor, and I have forgotten how they work, uh, fundamentally. So, so there's that. Uh, right, if I do that one, is that good? And I can do lock there, and I can get rid of that one. And if I do lock there, then I can black out that one, and that gets them all. Alright, this one this looks a bit more challenging, doesn't it? 
Um, well, I think I think that has to be the first one. I think it's the only one we can make right now. Um, so if we pop that in there, then we can go back here like that, um, and then do ones here. And if we do coal there, we can blacken that one. Then go lock there, and then blacken that one. Hey, we did it! Um, so we did up to seven, seven to five, and there's still two locked ones. So I'm not quite sure what we need to do to qualify for that. We can move on to the next stage of lock evolution. A civilization, really. Um, so they're farming, look! The wheel! They've invented agriculture and farm apparatus. It's exciting. Alright. Um, uh, learn a new keyword to lack. It makes you black out two adjacent cells. So I had to test this one out. So well, what has occurred to me is that I I get all right with the digital version of this. I think I would struggle with um, the uh, the book version, um, given the same prompts, uh, because there's no feedback to let you know whether you've done it right or not. It's only whether you um, so I mean you can sort of carry on obliviously um, and then it might contravene rules of a later puzzle um, but there's no immediate feedback like there is here and I, I think I need that to actually work out what I'm doing uh, because two adjacent cells, adjacent to, to what is the question there uh, but the answer as we'll see here is they just need to be adjacent to each other so they can be anywhere but two cells adjacent to each other so we'll do another talak here and then we'll do those ones did it. Okay, so now we're going to start getting mixes of locks and talaks and things that we'll need to uh, to have a look at. So I think lock is good and uh, we'll black out that one and then talak is I believe this one being blacked out will mean these two are technically adjacent. There we go. Alright, and then this one looks interesting. I think we need to do to lack there to do those two and then we can do that to lack and then we can do those two because they're adjacent. Then we can do our lock and then we can do one that's up there. Hooray! Um, okay, uh, I can immediately see a to lack and I want to do it. I don't know if that is good. It is probably not good. Um, Tlack. Oh, you can do things like that. That's cool. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> um, what do I want to do? Are there any locks? Or is it just Tlax at this point? I think... I think that is the only one we could do right now. So what do we want to... What else do we want to spell here? We probably want to do... Oh, I know, we want to do those two, so we get a lock. Right, then we can black out that one, and do a lock there, and we can black out that one. Solved it. Um, to lock? Lock, oh, okay. Um, we can do a lock there, or a lock there. I think we want a lock there, right? Yes, we do. And then we can do... That one? Because then we can do a to lock, and we can do those two. And then we can. Oh no, no I messed it up. <laughs> um, oh, oh, that, let's do that there. There you go. And then we can do a lock, right? And we'll do that one. And then if we do a to lag, because we don't need that K, we can do those two, which are technically adjacent. We unlock something. Cool. Maybe just unlock something at a certain learning point? I don't know. Okay, this also looks a challenge. So, let's have a look. Um, let's start with a lock and do that so we can get to lack. And then, do we want to fill in those? Oh, but then we can't, we can't get that one, and we can't get that one. Alright, probably not quite that. Um, I think it needs to be this first, doesn't it? Um, but how... Uh, 
trying to think what how do I make this work? Oh, how about that one? Zerhadu Talak there. I'll do like those two. And do a Talak there and do those two. Gotcha. And then I'll lock there and do that one. Solved it. Um, yeah, it seems to be kind of um, when it clicks, it clicks for you. Um, at least for me, anyway. Right, lots of Talaks and one lock and two blank cells to, um, to have a look at. So, um, to lack. Um, so that lock, getting rid of that lock will mean I can't use that to lack, which is something. Um, that and then do those two and then we'll do that and do those two yeah that, that works i think mean, there, there are probably uh, multiple solutions to um to these um but they might not be um so it's kind of a talak there and there's kind of a lock in there there's a lock there there's maybe a lock in there this is the only one I can make straight off, I think. So, do we do that? Then we can do another one of these and start filling in stuff here. And then do it to lack and fill in those ones. Then we do a lock and then we can fill in that one. Yeah, both. Yay! Look at that. Yes, we did eight because we unlocked one, and there's still three, three locked ones there. So we'll have a look at the next, next area. Hey, they've built a, they've built an urban, urban centre. Look, they've got sewerage. We've got this delightful dome building. Okay, well let's, let's have a go at these city puzzles. Learn a new word. Trust the learning process. So, um, I do, I have got this far before, so I do know what the word is. So I think what we're supposed to work out, um, and I ended it by experimentation, is that um, tar or at is the is the word, um, and its ability. So I'm just going to click on the other things. Is to block out those. So my interpretation of that was that if you spell tar, then you can get rid of um, a block of six. So that's what I tried to do here. Um, but if I click up here, say. I guess we'd have just get rid of those row three. Um, and then I can't I can't spare anything with those, so it wasn't that. So what if I try this down here? So maybe it was that block of six, right? And I can do tar and then it's those those ones up there. Okay. But then what are we gonna do about this? So I can make a tar there, but if I want to get rid of that block of three, I'll click there. But it's just the O. So that's not right, is it? So uh, I had to work out that. Um, tar gets rid of all remaining cells of a certain letter. Um, so we kind of want a lock here, don't we? So let's get rid of the S's. And we can do a lock and get rid of the A. And it's all filled in. And now we know another secret word. Um, I, which I'm going to write down so I don't forget about my tars. Um, all cells of a certain letter. There we go. Writing that down just here. Okay, so um, well, I can see a tar. So are there any other? I don't think there's any locks or talaks in there, is there? No. So how are we going to do this? We can do. I guess we can do the blank ones as a type, as a cell type, and do a tar there, and then we could do all the E's. Is that good? And then tar there, and then all the L's. Yeah. Nice. Mm, I think there might be there. So there's definitely a mix in here, isn't there? What do we want? 
So we can we can't do a lock. We can't do a lack just yet, but we could do a tar here. But what do we want to get rid of? Because these are all these are all good things, aren't they? There's a talak, a talak and a lock. Um, and if we get rid of the Ks, we can't do a talak. Or a lock. Um, like where's the O, oh, so I mean the L's. So let's do the O. I don't know if that helps. We'll do a talak. Um, and then do those ones. Ah, it does work. And then Oh no, but you have to be able to use the power. If you can't use your special ability, then you haven't done it. Which is interesting, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't remember the solution to this one. I don't remember this one at all, to be honest. Um, I think it still needs to be tar, doesn't it? And then if I get rid of the... Elves, we can do another tar. Oh, you're being tricky, aren't you? You're being very tricky. Let's do the case. We do another tar, and we can get rid of the O's. Oh, we unlock something. Okay. Now this one, I seem to remember, gave me a quite a pause for thought. Um, let's see. So what can we do? We can do a lock. Um, I guess. Can we do... We can't do any tars straight away, or any talax, although... They look like they're going to be around. Let's do a lock. And then we do that. Is that? That doesn't help. Oh no, hang on. If we do that, we can do a tar. Right? And then if we fill that in, we can do a talak. And then we can fill in those two. Hooray! Okay. This has got fled in it. So we're getting some, some real variety of letters here. Um, I can do a Talak, I can do a Lock, um, I'm not sure about the rest, so we'll do a Talak, and we'll take out, ooh, I'm not sure, no, we don't want to do that, we want to do a Lock instead, and make a Tar happen, Um, through an E's, we do a Talak. Oh yeah, that works. Then we get rid of the F and D. Oh, wow. Got through that already. Amazing. Alright, we'll just have a go at, at this one. Oh, look, they've got power. Amazing. Yeah, let's have a go at this level, and then we'll, we'll call it a stream, I think. So, number one. Um, cells with the letter X are conductors. Um, okay. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, so, uh, if I go, oh, it made like a little electrical buzz. Okay, so you can just sort of pass over it as if it were already blacked in. And then you can black it in kind of after the fact. Okay. Um, so does that mean this is, well, half, two halves of Talak? So does that mean I can go around corners? It does. Okay, nice. Um, and then, with. Okay, X conductors. Cool. Right, so. Um, oh, this gives us a few options, doesn't it? So if we go lock like that, and then we can go lock like that, and fill. Okay, that's quite satisfying, mechanically. Um, there's re really nice animations and sound design here. So I, I think this is very polished, um, and I very much enjoy it. I feel like it is definitely a game I would enjoy playing on one of my um, Sunday puzzle streams. Uh, this is this is right up my alley for, for that kind of thing. Right, so we do a talak there. Then what do we want to do? We want to get tar, don't we? Oh, which we can do if we do that one and that one. We do. Oh, it doesn't work. Can you go... Ah, oh, here. Can you not go... Here. Can you not go... Oh, you can. Cool. Uh, well, there's your exit. Hooray! Okay. Um... 
I think I might, as these get larger and more complex, I think I might start to get overwhelmed. But as, as they are, I have a lot of fun. Right, as a Talak, there we can do. Um, so we get rid of two things here. Um, I quite like a tar to happen. Or do I need to make a talak happen? Is that where we're going? Like, so if I do like that. I don't know. I mean, I can't do it right now, can I? What if I do... No, it doesn't quite... You can't go anywhere kind of thing. So, yeah, you need to have an X on the corner. Oh, well, I have got an X on the corner. You can do like that. Ah, there you go. So I can get rid of that tar. Oh, no. I don't want to get rid of that tar. I want to get rid of... Oh. Can I get rid of those two? Tar. <laughs> Yay! I unlocked something deep inside myself. Okay. Um, there's a... Okay, I think we might be overwhelmed with options here. There's definitely a there's a lock that we can maybe do, and there's probably a t no, we can't do a lack and a V. I don't know what the V's doing. Um, all right, let's try the locks. I think you could do that. You can. Okay, cool. Um, what are we getting rid of? The oh, we can't do the tar because there's no conductor there. I feel like the, we should go to the V. I don't think we should be able to do the tar, but we haven't got conductors. Oh no, we have, we have. We just need to go all the way around there. Oh, oh, oh I was doing it wrong. Let's go all the way around there. There we go. Uh, X, please. Nice. Okay, there's leg. Um, Two would I like to uh, dispense with here? Well, they don't do anything for us, do they? Oh, oh no! Uh, oh, I want that. I think. I think, and then I can do. Oh no, I can't. No, my mistake. Um, right. So, having done that, what else can I make here? I can't make I can't get down there and back up again, I don't think, to do a Talak. Or can I? Should we try it? No, because no, no, you need the X. No, fair enough. Um so uh, Can I make a tar? I can't because I can't do the corner there. Um I could probably do a tar. If I hadn't done that, but I wouldn't have to think there. Uh, wouldn't have the thing to do the thing. Um, I don't know, that feels like that's probably one. Um, there's a. Oh, there's. Is, can I do a lock? How can I do a lock? No. So I could. No. I wouldn't. Oh, maybe it would. If I get rid of those, can that be a cot? No. No, it can't. It can be a cot. Um, so, not quite that. Um, yeah, I could go from there to like there to there. But no, oh. I can't go from there to there because. Um, alright. Well... Alright, so are there any other ones I can do than that to lack to start with? Can I do a lock? Um, not quite, I don't think. Can I do... 
uh, tar. I mean, I could if the L, if the L weren't there, I could do a tar, which is interesting. Um, and I could do a talac. Um, how could I do a talac? I don't know if there's any other way to do a talac. Um, so I feel like that probably is the way to start. There's just what you take out, isn't it? So I need really do the X's usually. Um, Oh, hang on. I know. So if I do that and then do across here, down here, down here, around here, and around here, that makes log. Yes! And then we just do. Oh no, hang on. Uh, what should that do? What can that do? Should I. Oh, hang on. So I need to make. I think that one? So that I can go. Tar? I get rid of those remaining X's. Wow. Okay, that was a bit of a brain bender. All right, let's have a look. What can we do here? Um, fewer X's. I feel like the the, temp the the puzzle is tempting me to make a tar with that and that, um, which I would love to do. To be honest, that I'd like nothing more. This, at this point in my life than to make that tar. Um, but how do we get there? Oh, is it a lock? Is it a lock? Let's do a lock. Um, hmm, what do we do with that? What do we do with that? That oh is the only really useful, so let's say we get rid of that. So we can do we come around this corner, right? We can't go up to Oh hang on, we could we do Oh no we can't go up there, so we No so we oh, but, oh, but, but, No. Okay, that's fine. But maybe filling these in is also important? Because you could do a talac if those were filled in across there, which would actually work rather nicely. Um, so let me need to come out of there. Um, but, but that lock will only give us one square to black in. So um, what else could we do? Maybe. Have to be that to start with, but then what would we choose there? Um, I don't know. I 
feel like I was kind of onto something. Uh, can I make can I make tar happen? No. Really? Not with as I go like there. Oh, that would work. So I can make tar there. So talak works would work that way. Tar would work that way. But I need to fill in those two first. Um, I'm not quite sure how I do that. Is there a talak I can make? Over here somewhere. I feel like there ought to be, but I'm not sure there is. Um, Alright. Still up. Then uh, one of these. Talk. Maybe there's a new word to be named. Talk. So that didn't really help, did it? Confused. I am confused. Um. Yes, I feel like I need to make a talak or a tar. both. It's, I think it's possible I could do both. Um, but I don't know how I get two of those filled in. Unless there is a, a secret to lack hiding here somewhere that I am not familiar with yet. Maybe at a to lack to find it. Um. Oh, hang on. You can do lock there, right? So that's different. Um, ah, ah, hold on. But then you can do like a to lack. Oh, not quite. You can do almost a to lack. R. Um. Oh, hang on, if I do that, and then I can do a lock this way, right? And do that one. And then we've got the option of doing a lock here. Oh, and then I can just do like a tar. Okay, cool. We'll leave it there at the end of that level. Should we just have a little peek at what the next is? If it's if it needed is there. Ooh, industrialization. I'm not I'm not so sure about this, guys. 
But okay, you give it you give it your best. Try and find a, a green power source if you can. Oh, this is delightful. Um, big fan of lot. I mean, I do recommend both of the games we've um, we've played today. I think it's just my setup that made um, Key Locker run a little bit slow. Um, I think at normal speed, um, it'd be uh, yeah a, a lot easier to get to grips with. To be honest. Um, yeah, I will, so I'll, I'll pop these both up as individual episodes on my YouTube channel. Please do subscribe there if you would like to see uh, some similar videos in the future. Um, and, um, and yeah, so the, some of these games might be appearing on the channel again another time, but even if they aren't, we'll be along with uh, further streams and videos in the future. So until next time, take care everybody. Bye bye.